Yo, 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 welcome back to the channel. So I completely just filmed that entire video without my microphone plugged in. So today's unboxing is, uh, well, I'll show you what I got. How about that? So I've got everything in front of me here. I'm gonna take you guys through what I got and hopefully kind of mirror what I already recorded without audio. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Travis and I like to film unboxings of cool things that I get for filmmaking. I also use Adobe Premiere Elements and if I learn some cool tricks, I'm gonna share them on the channel with you. I also like to film videos of DIY projects that I do around the house. And if I ever go anywhere cool, I'm definitely gonna vlog about it. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you take a second and hit that subscribe button below. So I've been super busy for the last few weeks and the boxes just kept piling up. Well, you saw that part, all three of them. So here are the things that I unboxed. We've got ourselves a Sony 4K UHD Blu-ray player. Uh, it did have a box. Uh, this is the box. It's a UBP X700. Our family has lived without... Our family's lived without a Blu-ray player for the last six years. And I've been going on this minimalist kick around the house and trying to get rid of a bunch of stuff. So I came across a shelf of the Blu-rays. And there were a few that we did want to hang on to and well we need a player so 4k well that's the new 1080p right so everything's 4k now a lot of vloggers filmmakers are using 4k and uh, any of the discs that i want to buy are going to be in 4k so the discs that i actually kept are concerts because well i love the audio so here we go this is the sony try and uh guys see there there we go we'll have a look at the back for anybody that's interested in what kind of inputs and outputs it has there's no optical I don't believe no it's PCM and HDMI everything's done through HDMI these days anyway but you've got uh, you've got PCM for your older receivers you've got HDMI obviously for your audio and your video uh, you've got a hard LAN connection and then your power adapter, which is this guy here. This is a power brick that comes with the unit. And this is the little remote. Interesting, they have a dedicated Netflix button on their remote. Kind of, you know, that one thing that you're going to always click and go to. So there you go, on there. All right, so that is my UHD, Ultra HD Blu-ray player that I unboxed previously. What I was most excited to get in the shipment here was the Samsung SSD. So if you watch any videos on filmmaking, I'm sure you've seen somebody use one of these. And the reason you use an SSD is for the read and write speed. If you're editing a video, it's a great idea to put the files on one of these because you're gonna get super fast transfer speeds, which is gonna help out with the rendering and all that other jazz that happens when you're creating a video. So that's why I got this. It's the Samsung T5. Let's see if I can... Whoa, there we go. So it's the Samsung T5 and this is a 250 gigabyte version. There are obviously larger versions, I believe up to two terabytes. So got a good price on this guy here. So that's the actual drive itself. If we were unboxing it like we did before, we'll pop that off. You've got your manual and you've got two USB cables. You've got a USB C to C and then a regular USB to a USB C, which are high speed cables, which you're gonna need for your high speed drive. So I'm super happy to be able to add one of these to my arsenal finally. I've been waiting a long time to pick one up and while well, the price was really good. So finally got one. All right, and the last thing I unboxed, which was kind of funny, was uh, Energizer lithium batteries. 
These are great for kids' toys, especially radio-controlled cars, because I am constantly dealing with that small little screw on the bottom to get the batteries out, and it's just a big pain. It's okay, safety first, I get it. But uh, these will last a lot longer, saving those battery changes. So I'm gonna put links in the description below to all of this stuff. If you wanna have a look, check out the specs, see anything that I might've missed, links are down below, check those out. Uh, pick up some of these batteries if you've got some demanding devices. Highly recommend the Energizer Lithiums. If you are a filmmaker and you do any editing, if you can afford to, grab yourself an SSD. Like, these are super awesome. And then, of course, the good old 4K UHD Blu-ray player, which I probably won't use that much, but at least I have something to play the few Blu-rays that I'm going to keep out of my collection of stuff. Okay, thanks so much for watching today. If you like this video, head down below, smash that like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy out there.